Hi, it's Marie Louise here, the Danish painter, and welcome to my channel where I help landscape painters loosen up their painting style and paint with more confidence. Today I have a semi abstract landscape with layers and expressive mark making for you. That burgundy color that I used in the last video really got my creative juices flowing. So I decided I really needed to uh, do a few more pieces um, and use that color. I had started out with just a few light pen pencil marks um, and they are sort of just guidelines for myself. I don't actually draw out uh, details or anything like that. Just I'm indicating where uh, there are going to be some large shapes, uh, particularly maybe the ground area and also uh, some major shapes in the sky. For example, a big cloud or something like that. I thought I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, three main ideas for loosening up your landscape and also making it a bit more abstract. I have talked about this before in some of my other videos and I've really come to believe that uh, they are uh, essential to move your work if you want your work to move in a more abstracted, um, less detailed, less realistic uh, direction. And the three main ideas uh, are uh, using a uh, limited palette, uh, meaning few colors, number one. Uh, number two, use larger brushes and tools, larger painting knives if you use that. And thirdly, uh, using layering. And I'll uh, get into more detail with each one um, as we move through the video. A limited palette is great uh, for many things, but particularly because it creates limits for ourselves. Um, if you use a... Uh, limited color, uh, color palette like the one I'm using today, consisting of uh, just uh, four colors plus black and white. Um, you can actually mix a wide range of colors from those and uh, they will be in harmony as long as you just stick to those uh, usually. So you don't have to worry about mixing um, colors that don't uh, go well together at all. Uh, another thing is um, just having limits uh, set for ourselves uh, usually uh, does good thing for our art. We might think that uh, having a wider range of options is a good thing, but actually we can get uh, distracted and more uh, overwhelmed, actually. If you're like me, uh, when you go to a restaurant... Um, it's been a while because of COVID. So, but uh, when we used to go to restaurants and there's this huge menu with tons and tons of options and I just feel uh, overwhelmed and I take a long time to decide just looking at all the options and which one is better or would this one or would I regret not getting that? Well, that one sounds good too. And uh, it's much better for me if there are just maybe uh, three uh, starters, uh, four mains, and uh, three different desserts. A lot easier for me to choose. Um, and the same goes for colors. So uh, I hope that makes sense to you. The second idea that uh, I would suggest you try out in loosening and abstracting your work is to use uh, larger brushes. I talked about this in uh, 
several of my other videos, and I really do believe it's probably uh, one of the most uh, important things for um, the sole reason that it's just difficult to make any details. We can't go into the itty gritty with a large brush. It's just not possible. So again, we, we, um, we limit ourselves because we just can't, uh, we can't go there. So definitely use a large brush. Uh, you, um, it can feel quite intimidating, I know, using and sizing up your brush because uh, we feel we're not in control. But um, if we can reverse our thinking um, and just think of it as a, a way of simplifying, um, uh, I really think it will help you out a lot. It, it really made a big difference to me, I had to practice a lot uh, and um, overcome some fears of not being able to control the painting because that's essentially what it, uh, it came down to. I wanted to control everything. Um, but losing, loosening up a bit of this control um, and giving in to uh, just being um, a bit looser and a bit more creative um it 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 will really uh, move your artwork um in a, a much uh, more expressive and uh, abstract uh, direction thirdly i want to mention layering um as uh, something that uh, you should definitely uh, try and employ in your work. Um, a painted surface, whether on canvas or paper, is much more interesting if you can see different layers. If you can tell that the artist has been working on the painting, building up uh, layers, um, you can detect there was a process um, this is something that um, I always thought that you wanted to avoid, but uh, in fact this is something that uh, easily uh, distinguishes beginners from more experienced painters, is the layering. So um, don't think of layers um, that you have to do them, but definitely they will add character to your work that you cannot get in uh, in any other way. Layering is an excellent method to give new life to one of your old paintings that you are not that fond of anymore or another painting that you haven't been able to finish. Um, I actually did a video on that process called Upgrade Your Paintings, and I'll put a link to that at the top of the video. Here I'm adding some marks with the opposite end of my brush, and um, I think it's time to take a look at the painting without the masking tape. So let's uh, take that off and have a good look. I quite like the color scheme, but I think the painting could use a bit more depth. So I'll add some contrast here uh, at the horizon line. Let's just summarize the three main methods you can use to loosen up your painting style and make it more abstract. The first one was using a limited color palette, so a few colors plus black and white. Second one was using larger tools or larger brushes. And thirdly, the layering of paint, building up layers to create interest um, and uh, use all three or any one of them. Uh, and I think you will see once you start employing them and using them in your work, you, it will really make a difference. So which one of these three methods 
will you try out in your work to loosen up and make it more abstract? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy my videos here on YouTube, you might be interested in a new painting course I'm working on. In it I go in depth with painting loose and I break down and share all my best techniques and methods to help you paint stunning loose landscapes using exciting new techniques so you can paint with confidence and make paintings you are proud of. If that sounds like something you are interested in, please visit danishpainter.com or check out the link below to read more. As always, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.